Yesterday we actually um, milled the grain, so today we are starting to use the grain and actually brewing, brewing the beer. I think everybody was excited last night. You know, over dinner, there's just kind of a buzz of feeling really good about, about what we sketched out. That's great energy to come into the brew house today and make a beer that we know where it's going and for what dish. You know, we had a lot of conversation leading up to this point to determine what kind of beer we wanted, what kind of flavor profile. So what we settled on was making a beer to guard. Uh, we've, we've pushed it around a little bit. We've, we've increased uh, the Munich malt content a little bit because the folks at the public didn't seem to be a big fan of the flavor that Munich malt uh, imparts, so we tried to accommodate that. And then we also wanted to create some spiciness, and so we've selected a, a, a particular yeast strain to ferment this with, and then hopefully it all works out, and by the end of the day we'll be off and running with our fermentation. This is a beer de garde, but basically it's a French farmhouse ale. So the recipe, as far as I know, is a little bit rough. It's not totally well defined. I think there's a lot of room to play around as a brewer within that style. But basically it's going to be kind of a light, dry, refreshing beer with kind of a sweet, malty, upfront profile. So this is kind of neat because we're making something brand new. It's never been made before and we're making it specifically for this beer dinner. They're going to adapt their menu to this beer. Essentially these guys came up with a recipe. The different types of malt uh, that we're going to use. Uh, dark Munich malt, a Pilsner malt, and then I think they call it like a two-row malt. And then uh, we milled that yesterday, um, drank some beer, um, drank some more beer. Yesterday we started by milling in the grain and the mill basically crushes it into a few different pieces for us. And then today um, we took that malt and mixed it with uh, hot water to allow the sugar molecules to break up in a certain fashion so that the yeast will readily absorb it and, and it'll be a drier beer, drier style of beer. And then after that, that sits for about an hour. Uh, we went downstairs, we sanitized the, the tanks and things like that with uh, really hot water. And then we'll probably drink some more beer. The point of all this equipment that you see here is uh, to extract sugar from grain. Of course, with any uh, fermentable product, you have to start with sugar because at the end of the day, we're gonna feed that sugar to yeast and it's gonna turn it into alcohol for us. So like with wine, you use grapes, get your sugar from grapes. With beer, you get your sugar from grain. This big kettle here, the whole purpose of this is to extract sugar out of the grain. I think we did 146 degrees. So that's the temperature at which we're converting starches to sugars. So we did that in the big, beautiful vessel up there. Basically, we had a paddle and making the, sure that it didn't clump up and was even. So I kind of got a little bit of a malt steam shower. Um, which is pretty cool. All right, so you have two temperature probes on the right. You don't want to knock those with the uh, gotcha. paddle. Gotcha. It, especially being up there and stirring, you're enveloped by the aroma and actually the, the feeling of the steam. So it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty amazing. What does it smell like? It smells like, like grain, like malt. Bread. Yeah, it's very close to like bread making, like fresh bread. With that, it also smells a little bit like caramel. And the malts that we're using, I, I'm really excited to use. I haven't gotten to actually use in my own home brewing. So these are very aromatic malts, very nutty. So there's a little bit of grassy tones, some hay. We tasted the wort. You guys tasted that. It was really great depth of flavor, richness. This is the brewer's treat, particularly on a cold winter's day. Mm. I'm just going to drink it all. <laughs> Sweet. Really, really, really good. We've actually cooked with wort a little bit uh, at the restaurant. We braised pork and wort. And that's pretty amazing. It gets kind of caramely and delicious. Hot water and grain kind of steep together for like an hour. At the end, we're able to remove the liquid without the grain. Nicely done. Save, you saved the beer, bro. We move it over into the boiling kettle, at which time we're going to bring it to a boil and add hops to balance all that sweetness. And then it goes into the fermentation tank and they, they add the yeast strain and we're done. And then we'll probably drink some more beer.